What's going on everybody? I'm Jeff Rock and I want to welcome you back to my channel where I share with you my personal weight loss journey, my struggles, my successes, and everything that goes along with my personal weight loss journey and fitness journey. Today, however, I'm going to change things up a little bit. I'm here. I want to make sure that everybody watching these videos who's also on their own journey are making the progress that they really want to be making, meeting their goals, making their plan, and sticking to it. Now, today, I'm going to try to help you out a little bit. I'm going to share with you my top 10 nutrition mistakes. So let's get to it. So the first mistake that I want to get into is eating healthy, but not tracking your calories. Now, if you're not tracking your calories, it doesn't matter if you're eating healthy or eating poorly. If you're not tracking your calories, you have no idea what your caloric intake is. You have no idea where you actually are. People who actually start tracking their calories and writing down everything they consume, most of the time are shocked by the amount of calories they take in a day. So the number one mistake that I have, in my opinion, is not tracking your calories. Just because you think you're eating healthy doesn't mean that you're not eating in a surplus. And as we know, a surplus means you're going to gain weight and a deficit typically means that you're going to lose weight. So start tracking your calories. So on the same issue, my number two mistake is not tracking every calorie. This means everything you drink, every sauces, condiments, everything that you consume has calories. A cup of black coffee is five calories. It, there are no such thing as free foods, unless you're talking water. Water is the only thing that's free. Hell, my supplement, I um, if, when I take it, I haven't been taking it right now because there's really no need to because my diet and nutrition is pretty much getting all the nutrition that I need. But when I take a fish oil pill, that one pill is 50 calories. So things like that, things that you're not actually putting into your tracker can be adding up to large amounts. So everything that you consume aside from water, you need to track. So track everything that you consume. Everything you eat, everything you drink, everything you chew, everything has calories. Track all of them. Mistake number three not paying attention to serving size. So I'll just use this as an example. You know, you pick up Oreos. I think they're about 150 calories for one serving, and that's three Oreos. So just because something says a serving size, it doesn't mean you're eating it. You have to pay attention to the serving size. If the serving size for, let's say, rice is a half a cup of cooked rice, and you're measuring a half a cup of uncooked rice, well, it's going to expand as it cooks, so you're not going to be eating the same serving size. You need to follow the serving size of the food you're eating. Make sure that you read your label and see what the serving size is and measure it out and make sure you're paying attention to that. Number four, not understanding your nutritional labels. Everything today, especially in the U.S., has nutrition labels. And they tell you your serving size, they tell you your fat, they tell you your calories, they tell you your vitamins and minerals and, and nutrients. Pay attention to these. The things that you want to pay attention to are what's in the ingredients. So you go to the freezer and you're going to pick up two bags of broccoli. One of them is going to say a fresh frozen broccoli and one of them is going to have a whole bunch of preservatives and crap put in it. You want to stick with the whole ingredient foods. Stay away from things that have preservatives. Read the nutrition labels, learn them. Pick up some stuff that you have in your house. Look at the nutrition label, see what's in it. You're gonna be surprised. You're gonna be like, oh man, I thought I was eating healthy, but no, it has so much crap in it. You wanna stay to whole foods and pay attention to them. Learn how to read them, understand what you're reading. You want low calorie, nutrient dense foods, and that's what you need to be aiming for. Number five, this is gonna drive some people crazy, but treating carbs as your enemy. Carbs are not your enemy. Carbs are necessary to give you energy for your activity. 
if you go to the gym and you're especially on like a low carb diet or keto or something like that, you'll markedly notice that your strength and energy goes down the more you work out. And it, it goes down at a steeper decline than if you're actually eating these carbs. What happens is your body uses it in your glycogen stores. It's your fuel source that your body uses for activity. If there's nothing in there, it has to work harder to use fat or muscle in order to turn that into energy. There is nothing wrong with carbs. If you're thinking that you're going to get fat eating carbs, that's wrong. Eating an excess of calories is how you get fat. And eating in a deficit of calories is how you lose weight. As long as you're managing your food intake and your calories, you're going to lose weight. Instead of worrying about carbohydrates in general being bad for you, you need to stick to complex carbs versus simple carbs, such as oatmeal versus enriched white flour bleached bread. You want to stick to, you know, sweet potatoes and potatoes and broccoli and beans instead of eating sugar. Those are the things you need to consider. Complex carbs are good. Simple carbs are basically empty calories that provide no nutritional value. That is the key. Nutritional value versus non-nutritional value, not carbs. Number six, falling for the low fat or reduced fat labels on snack foods and food in general. We've all done it. We walk down the aisle, especially like snack aisle, and we see a bag of chips that says, you know, reduced fat or low fat. And you're going to go ahead and say, well, it's healthier than eating the full fat version. Not necessarily the case. In fact, very rarely is it the case. Just because this is low fat, all it means is that it has less fat than the original version, which is now usually going to be filled with other crap more preservatives, more flavoring, more artificial things, more sugar, more salt. Just because it says low fat or low calorie doesn't make it healthy. It just means it has, it's made differently than the original version. You want to stick to your calories and nutrition. You want to have nutrient rich foods and low calorie foods and stop worrying about labels. Realize that it's a marketing ploy and not actually trying to help you lose weight. Number seven, thinking that salads are healthy. There are plenty of ways to make salads actually healthy. Instead of iceberg or romaine lettuce, you use spinach or cabbage or kale or very nutrient rich ingredients rather than, you know, iceberg lettuce or romaine lettuce is a little bit better, but it still doesn't have near the amount of nutrients as, you know, say cabbage or spinach or kale. Then the other thing is all the added stuff that you throw into a salad, croutons, the uh, salad dressing alone, and some people put nuts on it. I actually think that, you know, like uh, honey roasted cashews are incredible on salad. But, you know, all those things add calories. And if you actually look on a menu, especially like at a, at a restaurant, and you look at some of these salads and, and you realize that these salads are the same calorie count as a huge bowl of pasta or something like that. You're looking over a thousand calories for a salad. Just because it's supposed to be healthy doesn't mean that it is. Salads are a huge culprit, especially when you're using dressing. So stop thinking that automatically because it's a salad that it's healthy. Look at what's in it. Look at the nutritional value of the salad. Don't fall into the trap thinking that you're eating healthy salads when you're really consuming 1,000 or 1,200 calories from what you're eating. Number eight, eating healthy is expensive. Look, it can be if you're not sure what you're doing. One of the best places to go shopping for healthy foods, especially vegetables and fruits, is a farmer's market. Get out of Walmart, get out of Publix, get out of whatever you know, grocery store you're going to, Target, whatever. Go to a farmer's market. The food is fresh, the vegetables are great, and it's so much cheaper. Find yourself a farmer's market and go there once a week to get all your fresh vegetables. If you don't eat your vegetables or fruits fast enough, buy frozen, but just make sure you're actually buying frozen whole fruits and whole, whole vegetables. No syrups, no added crap, no sugar, nothing. Just the frozen fruit and vegetables. It's not that expensive. 
you just need to do do it smart. You know, at Publix, when I go shopping, that's my uh, local grocery store at home, I can walk into Publix every once in a while and they'll have a buy one, get one free packages of chicken breast. And you're talking about a $10 package of chicken breast and I get a whole $10 one for free. Stuff like that, you buy it, you portion it out and you put it in the freezer. And you got meal preps already worked in. So it doesn't have to be expensive, but you have to do it smart. So, you know, things like I love zoodles, you know, those are zucchini noodles that are spiralized. Buy yourself a spiraler, get zucchini instead of buying the spiraled zucchini and do it yourself. And it's a tenth of the cost. It doesn't have to be expensive. You just have to do it smart. Number nine, having too many unmanaged cheat days. Now, we've all looked online, we've all seen it, 10,000 calorie uh, cheat day and, and crap like that. Stop. Look, stop having cheat days. I'm not saying don't indulge once in a while and, and, and stay in a calorie deficit for months on end, which isn't necessarily the best thing. But instead of having cheat days, have refeed days. If you're in a calorie deficit, you already know what your total daily energy expenditure is supposed to be. For me, for example, right now, my TDEE is about 2,200 to 2,300 calories. I'm eating right now about 12 to 1,500 calories a day. On my refeed days, I eat closer to my total daily energy expenditure. So on my refeed days, I'm eating about 2,000 to 2,200 calories. I'm not eating horrible food. I'm not eating a whole pizza or something like that. Right now, I do treat myself to a little soft serve ice cream, but I keep track of the calories. I'm not going in extreme excess. I'm managing my refeed days, giving myself more calories and more nutrition so that my body doesn't go into metabolic adaptation. So stop having cheat days or cheat weekends or not sticking to your nutritional plan on the weekends and do refeed days instead. One day a week, eat closer to your total daily energy expenditure, but don't go crazy. That is really hurting your weight loss right now. And number 10, one of the biggest things that I see people falling for is thinking that supplementation, fitness supplementation, is a substitute for healthy eating or can help you lose weight more. Yes, they can be tools that you can use, but you cannot rely on them over healthy nutrition. I am a big fan of eating all of your calories, not drinking them. I do not believe meal replacement shakes or protein shakes or smoothies are a good idea for when you're trying to lose weight. There are direct correlations between chewing your food and activating things in your gut and in your body that releases chemicals that tell your brain to prepare for food and that tell you that you're full faster when you're chewing. You become satiated, which means that you're full. When you drink your calories, like a shake or something or a smoothie, you don't get those signals. So your body isn't, your, your stomach and your body is not telling your brain that you're full. That's why so often when you're, especially first starting out and you're trying shakes and stuff like that, you're hungry so soon after doing it. Stop relying on, on supplementation. Stop relying on pills. There is no freaking magic pill. It takes hard work and dedication to lose weight. And that's what it's about. So stop thinking about supplements and stuff like that and just start getting your mind into the idea of changing your life and getting it done. That is when the change is going to happen. So there you have it guys. Those are my top 10 nutrition mistakes that people make on a normal basis, especially when they're first starting off on their weight loss journey. I hope that I answered some questions for you. I hope I gave you an idea of what to not do and some ideas of what you should be doing for your weight loss. So. If this video gave you any information that was helpful, make sure you like, comment below on any other mistakes that uh, you believe you've made or other people make, any ideas to help other people out. Not just uh, showing your knowledge, but help other people out. That's what this channel is all about. I want to help people get the most out of their weight loss journey and succeed. I'm also still on my weight loss journey, so if you want to throw some tips in there, I'll be more than glad to take them and adopt them myself. So make sure that you like the video, subscribe so you never miss a video. Got a lot of content coming out. 
I'm, I'm trying to pump out two videos a week right now and just trying to be entertaining as well as giving you some great tips. So if you want to reach out to me, you can reach out to me on any of the places. I'm Jeff Rock. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Not so much Twitter, but I'm working on it. But you can write me on any of those. I'd love to hear back from you. I'd love to talk with you. I'd love to help you on your journey. I'm not a, you know, I'm not sitting here just saying that I know everything, but I, you know, I'd love to help somebody who's struggling. That's what it's all about. I want to motivate people and inspire you on your journey. So if you are on a weight loss or fitness journey and you are starting your planning and your, and your goals and, and just starting the process, look, I believe you can do it. And you are worth the blood, sweat, and tears it's going to take to get you to where you want to be. So in the meantime, guys, uh, fight on, work out hard, eat healthy, and uh, until my next video, guys, peace out. Thank you.